How's that look? Uh, it doesn't look great, but screw it. What's up everybody? It's Seth from Fowler Customs and today I'm gonna go sneaker shopping around the city. I also might hit up the Adidas Fifth Avenue store because I haven't been there in a while and there could be some crazy stuff left over from the weekend. So we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. And then before we close out tonight's vlog, I'll be doing my first Snups Q&A where basically you guys can ask me any question you want through the Snups app and I'll answer it in my next vlog. So I'm sure by now you guys know about the Snups app and basically what it is and what it does. Here's mine right here. Uh, so basically it's just an app to store collections of things that you love on these digital shelves. And so, of course I follow a lot of sneaker channels. I myself post a lot of sneakers on mine. So here's my collections and my page. Right now I have a couple shelves. I've got my sneaker review shelves. So I usually post up a picture of the shoes that I'm gonna review on here. Um, just to let you guys know what's coming. So if you guys are following me on the Snups app, you'll know sort of what the upcoming review is. So definitely check that out. Follow me at Fowler Customs. I've also got a shelf for my most hyped kicks because you know whenever anyone's looking through your sneaker collection, they wanna see the good stuff first. So I figured I'd just be upfront and show you guys what you wanna see. I've also got a Nike shelf with the Air Force One Special Forces in it. These aren't the only pair of Nikes that I have, obviously, but this is the only pair that I've put in the app so far that aren't Air Jordans. We also have the Air Jordan shelf. Not all of them right now, but a couple of my favorites for sure, like the uh, Shatter Backboards. Friggin' love those shoes, they're awesome. Also got the Chicago's. And actually, since we're here, let me add another pair of shoes that I just grabbed. The, uh, the Royal Ones, I'm sure you guys have seen those if you watched the video for them. Here we go, I already took a picture of them. There we go. Air Jordan 1 Royal 2017. Perfect. Add that to the Air Jordan shelf. And now it's in. I'm actually really stoked on how this picture came out. Not only can you post collections, but you can also follow collections. One of my favorite collections that I'm following right now is Fiend for Shoes, or at Fiend for Retros. He's got a pretty insane collection. And I just love going through his stuff and seeing what he's got. He's got some awesome zebras. Also got some sick Jordans too. Much, much bigger collection than I probably will ever have, but I've got to respect it because he's got some really great, really great sneakers in there. So if you guys are on the Snups app, definitely give this guy a follow. He's got some pretty great stuff. And then of course, I've got the new shelf, which I'm calling the Fowler Customs Q&A. And every week that I do one of these, I'll post a new picture. And all you guys have to do is just ask some questions and I'll try and answer as many as I can and shout you guys out, of course. But this week, I'm just doing a basic Q&A. Like any questions you guys have, I'm gonna try and answer tonight. Um, I've already gotten a lot of good questions. I'm definitely excited to check those out tonight for sure. I've been looking through some of the questions that you guys have been asking and they're great questions. Some of them are kind of tough so I'm going to have to think about them for a while. But while I do that, let's figure out what shoes I'm going to wear today. No, eh, no Yeezys today. I could do these today. I'm going to throw on the Ultra Boost 1.0 3Ms. Yeah, they're a little beat. <laughs> I obviously wore these a lot. But you know what? When you wear a pair of shoes, they get beat up. It's just what happens. I've got to go so I don't miss my train, but I'll catch you guys in a bit. of a dope triple black colorway that didn't sell out because there wasn't any hype. The color uncaged have been sitting everywhere and you know what, the more I see them, the more I'm like, uh, should I just grab them? I got a surprising amount of hate for not liking this shoe. And you know what? I still don't like it. It's got like four different colors, like browns and grays and blacks. It's supposed to be a triple black shoe. Make it triple black. The 
NMD selection at the Adidas Fifth Avenue store was crazy. I've never seen that many NMDs just sitting. It was just about every single colorway. They also had the Anikis too, which are a dope shoe. I had the blue pair a little while back. I did a review on that so you guys can check it out. Um, the only pair out of the recent drop that I really like is the black pair. Of course I was at the Adidas Fifth Avenue store so you know I had to check out the My Adidas section. They had all these pairs of shoes that had already been made. Surprisingly, they had the My Adidas that just dropped a couple weeks ago, the uh, the Rainbow Ultra Boost 2.0. My favorite part about it is that it doesn't have that gradient on the toe box, so it's just purely white, and I think it looks awesome. The Rainbow's dope too, I wish I could have grabbed it. But you know what, I saw the computers were up and running, I figured why not try it out for myself, see if I can actually grab a pair. <laughs> There we go. <sighs> back from the office. So now that I'm back, it is 7.59 p.m. and it's time to answer some of you guys' questions. So without further ado, let's get into it. The very first question of the night and the first question of the entire series is from Alex Ebmeyer. What's your favorite Adidas and Jordan sneaker of all time? And if you could work for Adidas or Jordan brand, which would you choose and why? If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know that the Air Jordan 1 is my favorite Air Jordan silhouette. And my favorite Adidas sneaker right now is definitely the Ultra Boost. Um, and that's because it's versatile, it's comfortable, it looks good, and you can use it for just about everything. But as for whether I'd work for Adidas or Jordan brand, I would definitely go for Adidas because they're doing a lot more interesting stuff, a lot more innovative stuff in my opinion, and that just seems like the more fun place to be at right now. Like Jordan Brand is putting out a lot of retros, which is cool, but it seems like it's a lot of color changing and that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of reinventing of things or creating new things, so definitely be Adidas on that one. The next question is from Llama Boy 30 If you were given the option, what sneaker brand would you want to collaborate with and what model would you choose? Just about all the major sneaker brands have been doing collaborations recently like Saucony, Nike, and Adidas. And I think I would choose Adidas for the same reason why I chose them before and that's mainly because they're doing really cool stuff and I feel like I'd have more creative freedom, not only with colorways but also with materials. So I'd probably go with Adidas. However, Saucony is a close second. The next question is from Atomics Martin. If you had to choose one pair of Adidas, one from Nike and one from from Jordan brand, what would they be? Adidas, it would probably be the Future Craft. Nike, it might be the, maybe one of the Yeezy ones. I really dig those. The Air Mag would be dope too, but I think the reason for grabbing that is more because I just could never afford it, and if I could get it for free, that would be the one I would want because I'd probably resell it. And then from Jordan brand, that's a tough one. Honestly, probably the Fragment ones, just because I think they're an awesome silhouette. And I know there's shoes that I'm forgetting, but I would be just really happy with the Fragment ones, so that's what I'm gonna choose. Next question is from Geo Brabs from Brabs TV. He says, remember to subscribe in the comments, so if you guys wanna do that, go for it. If you can choose any shoe to wear in a zombie apocalypse, what would it be? Ooh. It would have to be something durable, but also comfortable. So I was originally thinking like Tim's, but uh, I can't really run in Tim's. Shoot, I don't know, maybe like, what's a really durable pair of shoes? Let's assume the zombies are like Walking Dead zombies and they're really slow, so in that case, I'd go with Tim's. If they're like World War Z zombies, uh, maybe like a pair of running sneakers from like New Balance or something, I don't know. Next is from Lars Jorgen Friedheim, and it is, what is the most you've ever spent on a single pair of sneakers, and do you regret it? Well, I can tell you right now, all the shoes that I spent over $800, $900 on, I no longer have, and that's because I 100% regretted it. The pair I think I spent the most on was the Pirate Black 2016 Yeezys, and I bought them for an even thousand off StockX. I never had the balls to wear them. 
because I didn't want to, you know, throw away a couple hundred bucks every time I stepped in them. So I ended up selling them a couple months later for like 1100 bucks. So I didn't actually lose any money, which is a good thing. Um, but it was really depressing seeing them sitting there and not being able to wear them out. The other expensive pair that I actually bought a couple pairs of, uh, Just On 2s in the beach colorway uh, for resale and then ended up not being able to sell them and taking a pretty big loss on those. So I'm always careful about spending over like 500 bucks on sneakers now. It's still probably a pretty high ceiling. I probably should be careful about spending over like $200 on sneakers, but you know, it's just a problem that I have to deal with every day. Next, we've got Jonathan Gutierrez, and he says, as an industrial designer, what company would you want to work with in the future to design and create your own silhouette, and what type of materials would you use? Ooh, that's a really good one. I, um, I've actually thought a lot about designing my own sneaker just because in college, I did a bunch of sneaker projects where I did design my own sneakers. I'd probably go with a smaller company, something that I would have more creative freedom with. Maybe Greats brand, because they're based out of Brooklyn and they're making really cool stuff. And I would probably try and use more natural materials like leathers and suede and things like that. I just like the look of the more natural stuff rather than meshes and things like that. The next question comes to us from Nathan and he says, do you think that Boost will not be hyped anymore after they have released so many colors? Yes, 100% it will still be hyped. Until they stop releasing dope silhouettes, I mean, it's going to be hyped. James OV says, do you follow the NFL or NBA? If so, which teams do you go for? Well, I don't really follow them too much. I do follow the Ravens because I'm from Baltimore, so they're my favorite NFL team for sure. NBA, I don't really have a favorite team. I'm going to try and go to some more Knicks games this year, so maybe the Knicks, but none in particular. Samuel Wong says, Fowler, I'm from Malaysia. That's awesome, man. While you visiting Malaysia, what is your opinion on the streetwear, casual style, or their shoes decision? Is it way different from the States or similar? So I went to Malaysia to visit some family back in 2015. Um, and from what I could tell, I mean, it honestly seems pretty similar because of the globalization of our world and just brands in general. Um, you do see a lot of similar trends. I wasn't there long enough to really, you know, see anything specific, but from what I could tell, other than some things being more available in the US because the brands are based in the US, I mean, it seemed very, very similar. Ian Libby says, what's the craziest thing you've done to get a pair of sneakers? Nothing too crazy. I mean, I've camped, you know, everyone's camped, but I think there was a raffle for City Blue where it was like, do something creative to, you know, win this pair. Or I think it was for the Shattered Backboard 2.0s. And I ended up um, kind of hijacking the 3D printer at the office and 3D printing their logo um, throughout the day and then like filming it and making a short video and sending it to them. So that took about like three or four hours of, of work time which uh, no one was too happy at me about. But uh, you know, it worked, I got the shoes, so can't complain. Jamal Fanin. Jamal says, if your house went on fire, what one sneaker would you grab? Do I already have shoes on my feet? Because in that case, I would probably grab, what shoes worth the most money in my collection? Because I'd probably grab those and then resell them to buy some of my stuff back. Um, if I didn't have shoes on feet and I needed something to run in, Ultra Boost. Jonathan Corbett says, what do you like to do outside of sneakers? Well, I'm an industrial designer professionally. Um, that's what I went to college for. That's what I do now. I design dog toys. My other main passion besides sneakers is music. Um, I was in a couple bands growing up and um, I've always loved to sing. So that is my other passion. And that's, if I didn't have sneakers, I would 100% be doing singing on YouTube. That would be my... That would be my go-to. Dave says, how much is rent out in New York and then square footage, question mark? Square footage, I mean, you guys have seen my room. It's like seven by nine, it's tiny. And I live about a 30 minute train ride outside of Manhattan. So that's, it's gonna get a lot cheaper where I'm at. My rent now is sub $1,000 per room. But if you go to Williamsburg in Brooklyn or anywhere in Manhattan, you're gonna be paying more than that for like a tiny space. In some cases, like even smaller than what I have. So it's not great, Dave. Byong, and pardon me for butchering your name, says, do you keep all the sneakers you review and the ones that you don't like, you either refund them or resell it? No, I don't keep every sneaker that I review. Some of them, the ones that I don't like, I end up returning or reselling or giving to friends. It's just the nature of collecting things for a hobby. Next question is from Jacob Olson and it's what's your favorite non-boost sneaker from Adidas? Probably right now, it's the D. Lillard too. Casper Jorgensen says, what's your favorite clothing brand? Much love from Denmark. Much love to you, Casper. Definitely appreciate it. A lot of the people I work with now are Danish. I appreciate you guys for sure. Uh, my favorite clothing brand, I don't think I have one. Um, I buy a lot of my clothes from H&M, um, Topshop, some Supreme. Nothing in particular. Filippo Talenti says, what has started your sneaker passion? What were your first sneakers? Like the first with Boost, first Jordan, first basketball, etc. Much love from Italy. Keep it up, bro. You keep it up, bro. Much love to you. What started my passion for sneakers was I worked at Vans in high school and uh, I got a great discount there. So I bought a crap load of shoes um, and it was right next to a DTLR. So I'd see every weekend, they'd get all these crazy releases and I just started to get sucked into it at that point. I don't honestly remember what my first pair of 
any of my sneakers were, so I can't answer that. Sorry, man. Paul Respicio says, what are your thoughts on the Reebok Zoku Runner alternates? Do you plan to review them? They're not a bad looking shoe and I'm probably not gonna review them. Tom Deshrevel says, boost or air and why? Blessings from Holland. Boost, because it's better. And finally, the last question, or what it looks like, the last three questions from Mo Pawanski. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's all like, Air Jordan 5, 6, or 7, question mark, out of those three, five. Next question is Jordan 8, 9, or 10, out of those three, Probably 10. And then uh, the last question is, I'm from the DR and I watch your vids. Keep it up, dude. Not a question, but I appreciate it, man. So that wraps up the first Snups Q&A. Thank you guys so much for your questions. I'll definitely be doing more of these, probably one next week. So as soon as you guys see me post a picture that says this is this week's Q&A or whatever it says, so make sure to comment your questions underneath the latest picture and I'll try and get to them in the next video. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this. And follow Fowler Customs on Snups, Instagram, and on Twitter.